Fashion Focus Creative Commons Social Datasets, and it's going to be presented by, by Babak. Yeah. Loni? Yeah. Okay, I'm very bad at pronouncing names, so just forgive me about that. You can make fun out there later on. Um, in principle, each of the authors, they have 15 minutes to present the datasets. Uh, I just told them that they will have actually 10 minutes, uh, which will mean that we will spend like 12, 13 minutes. So just please. Okay, thank you. So uh, my presentation is not that much long, hopefully. Uh, doesn't gonna to probably bore you. Uh, so as the title suggests, uh, our, our uh, data set is more about uh, image data set which uh, focus on uh, fashion related uh, images. Uh, so my name is Bobak, I'm working in TU Delft uh, as uh, Pablo mentioned. Um, and uh, together with our colleague, we did this uh, work uh, as a, uh, one of the projects of this uh, seventh European program, which is called Kubrick. Uh, so basically, in my two days uh, short talk, I'll just uh, quickly uh, describe the motivations of why we need to create uh, and have such a data set. Uh, I briefly discuss about uh, our collection strategy and how we collected this data set, a bit about uh, how we created the ground truth for this data set, and then briefly talk about the applications of this data set, and finally some summary and feature works on this data set. So basically, recently we saw like uh, many uh, focus and uh, new research and uh, studies on fashion-related uh, works, not only uh, scientific works, but we also see many emerging applications in the area of the fashion. Uh, and uh, there are some uh, studies on uh, clothing recommendation, for example, uh, studies on uh, parsing clothing item and uh, clothing segmentations, and also searching and retrieving fashion images nowadays is really uh, attracted uh, lots of research. So for example, you already see the, like uh, the, those uh, are really the two live sample applications. Um, the left one, which is called uh, Fashionism, is a social network about uh, fashions. People can upload uh, their photo, their clothes, and uh, then get com uh, feedback from community uh, whether their clothes are nice or not. And the other one is more about a recommendation system which is only based on the fashion uh, uh, scenario. So in all these cases, uh, we had the feeling that we need a data set uh, for the whole research community uh, to be able to uh, compare and extend the previous studies. So as uh, Pablo mentioned, uh, uh, if we have a public uh, available data set, it's really going to be uh, better to compare different studies, extend them. And of course, it's sometimes it's really expensive uh, to generate the ground truth for this data set. And it would be nice if uh, people start uh, sharing their data sets. So that's why we decided to uh, create this data set. Uh, of uh, fashion images. Uh, so our strategy for creating uh, this data set was to generate the data set really from uh, user-generated content, from user-generated uh, fashion categories to user-generated images. Uh, so uh, basically, we collected uh, the, the like fashion-related categories from Wikipedia, which is itself uh, user-generated content. And in total, we found uh, 470 uh, categories related to fashion and clothing. We then used uh, those categories to, uh, as a query to Flickr API, and we retrieved all the res uh, ret uh, image. And in total, we collected more than uh, 320,000 images from the Flickr. In addition to the images, we also uh, stored all available metadata in the images, such as the basic information, such as title, description of the images, the tags, the comments, social uh, information of the images, as well as uh, some context and uh, a so-called uh, Flickr terminology, which is called note, which is nothing than 
uh, uh, region-based tag, which is really cool feature for the images. And if all those information uh, was available, we collected them and uh, gathered them in a data set. And our data set is uh, like uh, in one part we have the images, and in one part we have uh, this uh, uh, metadata information in several uh, separate files. <coughs> But uh, we, uh, in order to be able to use this uh, data set uh, freely, even in commercial pur purposes, uh, we only, uh, for this uh, release, we only selected uh, 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 Creative Common uh, Images uh, with a least uh, restrictive license, which, um, which is called attribution, which means you can do anything with the images, even uh, you can have commercial use of those images. Uh, unfortunately, only a small portion of the images had this license, but uh, still, uh, as I said, for this uh, time, we only uh, choose uh, this uh, su subset of images. And the categories narrowed down to 154 categories, which are the most uh, common categories, uh, which has at least uh, 10 image in these uh, fashion-related categories. But indeed, uh, still uh, there was a problem on uh, cleaning this data uh, and validating the content uh, of the images. Indeed, there was uh, some cases in which uh, the, the given tag of the images was not matched with the content of the images. So there is a so-called problem of a semantic gap between the, the tag of the images and the content of the images. So for example, in this case, uh, so this is a a uh, closing item called boat neck, uh, and that is the, the Wikipedia definition of this item. And you can see the picture. Uh, but when we retrieve the images from Flickr, there was um, also these images which was <laughs> tagged as uh, boat neck. So we have this problem with automatically uh, collecting the data. Uh, uh, because uh, and we need to somehow validate this data and filter out the uh, uh, unrelevant images. That's why that uh, we basically did a crowdsourcing experiment uh, using uh, Amazon Mechanical Torque uh, crowdsourcing platform. We uh, we actually uh, asked the crowd uh, and Amazon to validate uh, the given tags of uh, those images. We basically created uh, around uh, 1,200 hits or human intelligent tasks uh, in which uh, uh, the workers can, in each hit, uh, work on four images and uh, validate the content of the images. So basically, I have a, a, like a part of the screenshot of uh, uh, the, the hits that we designed. Uh, so we tried to have uh, like four image in each hit to uh, somehow not only minimize the, the number of hits, but also we also have this uh, table kind of a structure to make it easier for the workers to work on the hit. And these are two main questions that we ask uh, in each hit for, from the workers. Uh, the first question is more about validating the given tag of the images. Uh, of course, we had some, uh, we also included some uh, information about that a specific category or or closing item uh, uh, so that uh, those who are not familiar with that specific item can know about that uh, uh, and also the other question which is uh, validating whether this uh, image is really fashion related or not so with these uh, two simple questions we uh, uh, succeeded to uh, somehow uh, validate the, those images, and then uh, we have these annotations available next to data set, uh, and then people can uh, really like uh, remove those uh, unrelated images from this data set. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> yeah, that's also. <laughs> I'm not a fashion guy. I'm, uh, I'm not don't know about the details, but apparently, according to Wikipedia, it's a kind of clothes which is. Uh, worn by uh, some uh, uh, students in some universities, they call it preppy, but uh, apparently there was too many uh, pictures of this uh, fashion category in uh, Flickr. Yeah, but of course, as I said, we also, mm, I, I didn't uh, list it here, we also included the description of this category in the heat. Uh, and then, um, uh, one more thing that we also did uh, on this data set, uh, we added 
another another uh, level of uh, annotation to the normal uh, crowdsource uh, annotators, which we call it uh, trusted annotators, which are basically uh, mostly the authors of the paper. Uh, so we exactly did the same uh, kind of annotation on the data set uh, because uh, not only we wanted to provide uh, a more uh, uh, better quality annotation, but we also wanted to somehow validate the, the, the quality of the annotation which is done by the crowdsource annotators. And indeed, it was the case, as we expected, the quality of annotation by the trusted annotators was better. So this is the inter-annotator agreement, which is a COPPA statistic, which measured the inner annotator agreement. And indeed, for the case of uh, uh, trusted annotators, we had better agreement among them. Uh, but in any case, in both uh, cases, uh, the agreement was uh, more than uh, 0.6, which is uh, tend to be um, uh, adequate agreement for the case of inter annotation in uh, these crowdsourcing platforms. Uh, so. There are quite different applications of this data set. Uh, for example, this uh, picture uh, is taken from an application called uh, Skewedness, which is done by our colleague. So basically, this application is tend to really create borders and contours around different closing items. And our data set proved to be very useful for this application. We have the confirm fashion uh, categories. And we ask uh, then using this application, people really can, uh, using this game with purpose application, uh, can um, uh, ask people to uh, somehow uh, specify that a specific fashion category in, in the images and later we can use this uh, data for machine learning algorithms on uh, image classification on like image segmentation and image recommendation and of course uh, for learning purposes this data set uh, proved to be useful our colleague from uh, empirical university of london is uh, giving a course about crowdsourcing and they are using this data set for um, giving the assignments to students so it's already in use uh, this data set um, and uh, as a summary, we created a data set of fashion images with focus on uh, creative uh, com uh, common, and we call it focus because there are some images which are not really fashion related, but we have those annotations available and the users of this data set can use those annotations to filter out non-relevant fashion items. So the good thing about this data set is that it really covers uh, a variety of different uh, fashion items and uh, categories and also clothing item which would be useful for fashion industry there are several useful metadata available in this data set which make it even more interesting and the ground truth uh, which is available for this data set is also an advantage of this data set also uh, with uh, these uh, trusted annotations which uh, would make it even more uh, interesting and there are uh, some useful applications for this data set that I explained. And as a future direction, uh, we want to uh, propose, uh, we actually propose the task uh, in Medieval uh, 2013 benchmarking uh, or multimedia benchmarking uh, framework uh, or uh, actually workshop. Uh, so uh, somehow kind of advertisement uh, if people are interested in uh, this task or generally this uh, medieval uh, there are also some uh, uh, some notes on the outside people can there are different tasks people can uh, see and if they found it interesting they can participate this a a specific task is about um, generating ground truths from noisy uh, crowd annotation and we used our uh, our uh, trusted annotations as a ground truth for this task and uh, so if you are interested you can participate and of course we use this data set as as a uh, as a data set for this task and uh, in future we want to develop this data set and extend it from both vertical and uh, horizontal dimensions we want not only make it uh, bigger in size but we want to also include uh, some additional uh, features like uh, type of the picture, uh, the number of people, uh, the sense and quality of the picture to make it even uh, more useful in the fashion related scenarios.
So that was it. And if you have questions, please let me know. Thank you very much. This was very interesting. Uh, do we have any question from the audience? 13 minutes, so we are doing fine. Okay, so I actually have one question. It's a bit tricky, but I have one question. So where can I find this data set? I actually, uh, I should ask this question from you. Right, so I can answer myself. Right, I like talking, so <laughs> sorry. Uh, so apart from all the presentation and all the citations, we are as well offering hosting for, for the data sets. And, and in this case is the University of Massachusetts. I think Mike is in there. Um, I think we should basically thank him a lot. Sorry, just one second. Thank you. Because it's a lot of work for you. <laughs> <laughs> because we thank 